my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new hi hello my name is Loie and I think you guys are probably watching this video in 2018 which blows my mind as you guys may know I'm taking a pretty solid break I'm literally filming this on December the 23rd I have filmed the last of my vlogmas videos and I'm taking a pretty solid break through most of January just to kind of and like regroup for this upcoming year because I want to do another month of straight uploading maybe in March or May or something like that. Um, I want to really, really, really dedicate all of my time back to YouTube because it's what I love. But you know, everybody needs a little bit of a breather. So that is what I am definitely taking. But today I really wanted to sit down and tell you guys what my most recent thrift shopping haul or in the words of Graveyard Girl, hurl. Recently I've been on a bit of a Graveyard Girl kick and have I've been just thinking about how much I've always loved antique and thrift shopping and getting back into it. I have like some clothes, some fashion things, I have some jewelry, I have some like actual antique items. Um, there's just so much here to show you guys and most of it was bought on eBay and Etsy. But we're just gonna get right into the video because I know most of you clicked on this to see this little girl. This is my newest doll and I don't know what to name her but she is thought anyways to be from like the 1910s so she is a doll made out of composite um which is like this material if you can see a lot of her is like cracking and whatnot her eyes also closed so don't be alarmed if that happens um but composite dolls are made so that the baby dolls didn't break um and it was a much like cheaper and easier way to make dolls like it was easier for parents because they didn't break it was you know easier because it was like cheaper for the actual doll makers so she is really 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 beautiful she does have a lot of wear and tear on her head so i'm probably just gonna leave her little bonnet on i saw this doll and i just fell head over heels in love with her um i also got a necklace from the seller that i'll talk about in a minute but i just thought she was so pretty her mouth kind of weirds me out i'm not gonna lie to you guys like i don't look at her and find her creepy my brother really does like some of her cracks are a little bit off-putting but her face is just so sweet to me and thinking about like someone loving this doll so many years ago is so sweet to me her eyes are a little creepy i'm not gonna lie but her mouth weirds me out because she's got like um like composite back here and it almost looks like cork or something shoved into her mouth and it's a little bit weird um but she is really beautiful and she's in like such a nice new dress and she's got little chunky baby legs and little shoes so this is my newest doll and i don't know what to name her um but she is from i think like an estate sale of what is that shop called it's like aunt sue's um attic and it actually was like items of this woman named sue who i believe passed away because the seller included a note for me just saying i hope you love these items as much as she did so this was someone's doll and she's over 100 years old and my god <laughs> She has a lot of character, so I don't know what to name her, but I really love her. Um, I don't know, you guys. I think that she's so freaking cute, and I don't feel any weird vibes from her, but let me know if you guys do. I didn't feel any bad vibes from the doll that I got in my uh, haunted mystery box either, but some of you guys did. So let me know what you think about her. I really love her. I think she's really darling and sweet, and like I'm really excited to add her to my doll collection. But can you guys, would you guys freak out if she was back here? Would that really freak you out? Oh man, I bet it would. She's so cute though. She's a little creepy, but she's so cute. From that same seller, I also just got this little necklace right here. Um, it says Avon on the back. Now I'm a little bit unfamiliar. This was just kind of an inexpensive, like sort of costumey jewelry piece that I really liked. And I love collecting old jewelry like this. But was Avon, is it still like the makeup brand Avon and this was from Avon or was that like a jewelry brand back in the day? Someone let me know. Um, but I've worn this a few times and I really, 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 really love it. It is such like a nice thick uh, sort of chain, but I love all antique jewelry so much. My um, my dad always used to like buy me jewelry when I was younger, but I have such like a, a fascination and a love for like older antique items. like. The thought that they belong to someone else and now they're in my hands and I it's something about like taking care of someone's belongings if you get what I mean that was weird I just heard like a crack of a butt but 
Um, that's also why I got this and I talked about this in a video recently so you guys would have already seen like up closes of it and stuff in my Christmas special but I got this really beautiful antique rose gold locket for myself and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's really pretty and I plan on wearing it pretty much 24-7. I really like locket necklaces. I'm kind of sad they've fallen out of fashion. Um, I don't know what I'll put in here. Maybe like a picture of me and one of you guys or two pictures of me and one of you guys or like just my dogs you know just like all my animals in this locket <laughs> sorry guys I'm filming a boatload today and I had to switch out my camera battery but this is from the Etsy shop T for Edgar I believe and it's a really popular um, antique jeweler they have a lot of information on what time periods different pieces are from so it was not inexpensive but it is really beautiful and I do love it a lot should we just get through every bit of like jewelry that I had bought recently? I really kind of went on a bit of a like kick <laughs> lately. I don't know what this one is from, but this is just another locket. I, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I thought it was a little bit more white gold looking, but it's a little bit more of like a yellow gold sort of locket. I really liked this one because of the key on top. And then I really, um, I thought it was kind of cool how it has like, one little picture hold on I gotta move this has one little picture slot but then there's a third um there's like one two three four picture slots I think technically because one of them's double-sided I thought it was really cool and like I said I really love lockets um this wasn't a particularly inexpensive piece either but I have just like a nice little gold chain I can put it on I really like I said I don't buy a lot of mainstream jewelry and if I do like it's like my rings which are for just from Pandora um, I love Pandora jewelry. I just I like old jewelry with a lot of character. This is the box by the way This little locket just T for Edgar on it. I got this little cameo ring um, It's a little bit smaller than honestly. I would have liked it's a size 6 Which is what all my rings are but this honestly is a little bit tight on my ring finger So I'm not entirely sure what I'll do with it, but it's just like a little vintage kind of cameo ring There might be another jewelry piece or two, but we'll get to them later in the haul I recently kind of um, okay so so I gained access to my old YouTube channel really recently and I didn't think that I had the means to log into it anymore at all but somehow I did and I saw myself using a lot of like Vera Bradley items in there and I honestly got rid of most of my Vera Bradley but it sort of reignited my love for it and then when I went on eBay I saw that items like brand new with tags were pretty inexpensive um, if you like did the bids and whatnot so I bid on a few things and surprisingly I won all of them because I don't think it's very popular anymore. So these were always my favorite patterns. I got the watercolor one. These are just makeup bags. I got the watercolor one. I got a little um, Happy Snails one. This is my favorite pattern for years. I did not think I'd win both of these, but I did. It's the same like um, like saddle up bag, but in two different prints. So a little bit surprised I got both of them, but hey, you know, I'm really back into the mood with this. I literally had this bag in an outfit of the day, and I was like, why did I ever get rid of that? Like, I had donated it, obviously, to like Goodwill or something, but I'm just like... <sighs> I'm so sad because I really like it and now I have another one so and it's nicer and newer and less dirty than my old one but I also have it in this happy snails print I really didn't think I'd win both of those then this was my favorite print for years this is the java blue print and I got it in this little hipster style I don't know you guys if you see me out and about with some quilted purses not that Vera Bradley is weird and it's still like a really popular brand I actually met a subscriber in a Vera Bradley store over Black Friday but um it's not like it's weird or anything I just feel like it's not that mainstream anymore I don't know maybe I'm just crazy um while I was just shopping on eBay though for those in particular I saw this this was from the Miley Cyrus uh for Walmart line do you guys remember that the Miley Cyrus Max Azaria or Azaria or however you say that literally had this top in high school and had worn it to shreds But it's just like this black ruffled top. I think I'm just having like a nostalgic moment Um, because I got this black ruffled top. I don't know how well you guys can see that buttons down the front And I still thought it was pretty cute and it was on like I, I think it was like six dollars in shipping So I went ahead and got it because it is a top that is really cute and it didn't look too terribly worn These are both purchased on Etsy and they're like men's <laughs> clothing but I liked both of them I got this Wimbledon sweatshirt or Wimbledon um I said that really weird but it's just like a cream sweatshirt with a little w and it's just like you know like a sweater like you do I said sweatshirt but it's just a sweater um it's had a little bit of wear but I honestly thought I would like pair this over a collared shirt and it would be kind of cute 
I love like big chunky sweaters like that and I love men's clothing so much it's ridiculous um, and then I got this like Disneyland this really vintage Disneyland sweater or sweatshirt rather I said sweatshirt for the last one and this is an actual sweatshirt and I'm saying sweater I thought that was kind of cool there's a lot of like vintage Disneyland stuff on Etsy but a lot of it is so overpriced this wasn't super bad let me see if there's like a year on this no it just says produced exclusively for Disneyland on it so yeah you guys this was just a vintage little Disneyland sweatshirt that I thought I needed. Um, oh man, this was way overpriced. This was a Saks uh, Fifth Avenue little cape. This store was going out of business um, and so a lot of their stuff was marked down but this was still really expensive. I just fell head over heels in love with it. It's like a little cape you can just tie around the neck and you can see here it just says Saks Fifth Avenue. The sizing has been cut out but I mean it's just a cape. It doesn't have armholes or anything. It's just like this really beautiful piece. I have no idea what I'll ever wear this for like probably over just like a s little uh, sundress in the summer I think that'll be kind of cool but I mean it's not really like you can buy this kind of style just on the racks or something and I paid way too much money for this I'm not gonna lie to you and it arrived really like um, it's such a nice piece it's like so silky and soft and stuff and it arrived like bunched up like this and I was kind of disappointed in that so <laughs> kind of not surprised that that store is going out of business both of these items are new I just grabbed them on eBay um, they're both just wild fox sweaters this one has like palm trees all over it. it's just like a peach with palm trees all over it and then this one says take me to my beach house these were both just um like sweaters from the brand that obviously were out of season wild fox is really inexpensive so i like buying a lot of these items on ebay and stuff like that because i feel like i save a little bit of cash and um i definitely don't need things right when they come out i think almost everything else that i have here is from this one seller and i haven't even looked into this card it's called love sick fashion on Etsy not to be considered with um lovesick like the brand that was out last year you guys know which brand I'm talking about this is um just a little card that they gave me with a little coupon code for 20% off my next order so I will use that I bought a lot from their store so I'm not surprised that they gave me a coupon Whew, okay there's like a pile of clothing here to go through um all of this again is just from that store and I loved pretty much everything there but I did not buy everything there their model is so cute and like she just looks so good and everything first is just this little blouse it's like a um not yeah it's a little bit florally print it's kind of like dotty floral print little blouse and I don't know what brand this is it doesn't really say the model looks so freaking cute in it and now it's here and I'm like how am I going to wear that but I do think it's a really cute little top I know why I bought this it's a set I was like why would I just buy that one top so here's the skirt it is a little bit tinier in the waist than I kind of assumed it would be so it's a it's like a set obviously so here's the top and then here's the skirt and the skirt waist is just a little bit small but we'll see um obviously sizing has changed a lot since back then but and i say back then i really don't even know what era this is from um but it's just like this really cool little flared out skirt i think it'll go right down to the knees i just thought this was really fun and cute and just something really different from anything else that i owned i was literally so lost as to why i ordered that for about 10 seconds um, then I have this and this has an interesting piece of like material in it. This is from the brand Jerry G New York and it's machine wash only. There is no, there is no sizing. I was like, it is size machine wash. Um, it's just a really pretty little dotted dress and I'm a little bit concerned about the sleeves. I think they might be a bit tight. It just has like this really nice kind of block there at the waist and then goes out into this beautiful skirt. It has the tag. It is a Sears Juniors 9. <laughs> so it might be a little bit tight there in the arms. Um, it doesn't really have any sizing in this store so it was all sort of hit or miss as to what would fit. Um, but back then, let's see what it costs it was reduced in pricing it cost $7.99 down from $24 look at how old that freaking sticker looks so I like it a lot I'm just I, I don't think it's actually like a plus size dress I may give that to my mom to be perfectly honest with you this one's super exciting because it has more of like a stretchy sort of skirt um, or like waistband thing it has really pretty detail here and then it just flows out in the most gorgeous skirt you've ever seen i'm sorry this color throws off my lighting so bad but i just thought it was such a beautiful beautiful skirt i could pair with like literally any top that i own 
I also got this skirt, which is like a really deep dark plaid. I thought this would be really pretty for um, winter and it's like nice and thick. Again, the waistband on this is tiny, but I think as long as I go over the head, it should be fine. Um, and it has like pockets and everything. Wait, it really has pockets. I love this. This is so cool. And it's like a really long, long skirt. So this is a romper with like a built-in bra. Like it's so funny to me to see these old built-in bras, but it just wraps like so and then it's just like a nice kind of cottony romper. I thought this could be kind of fun for uh, the summertime. I don't know. I could just actually see myself wearing that. I like the striping. I like the colors a lot. But in terms of like winter pieces, I did get two jackets that I just fell head over heels in love with. The first, oh, I'm going to smack myself in the face with this. This one was not inexpensive, but I just fell. I've never seen anything like this, um, like actually for sale in my size. So I got this coat. And it's like patchwork. It's a, it's kind of ugly, I think, but it's like endearing ugly. It kind of feels like a 90s sort of coat to me. I don't know, it has like faux fur on the collar here. It's really cute though. I love it, I love it so much. And this jacket was kind of just like, I saw it and I was like, I can make that work for at least one outfit. Um, there's just so much like character to an old varsity jacket, I guess you could say. It says on the back, class of 88 on this little pin, has a little smiley face pin, homecoming golden eagles like 85 pin it also has a little 88 down here so i'm assuming it's someone um who graduated in 1988 and it has like a flap and everything it's just like this cute little varsity jacket and i really thought i could wear it at least for one outfit a little bit of a novelty piece like am i gonna wear this every day no i lost my letterman jacket like my varsity jacket i didn't lose it i left it with my dad when i moved to kansas he donated a lot without even realizing what he was donating he always felt so bad but sadly i don't have my letterman anymore so so if anybody else has it, let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, I just think that's kind of funny that I bought someone else's Letterman. But that is it for this little thrift shopping haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.